Well, talking about the team, let's take you straight to Port Harcourt, where Bishop Ida Peter Sight, the man of God, is said to share his thought with us on the show today via Zoom. Uh, we're talking about uh, the under-23 national team, and uh, Pastor Ida Peter Sight is somebody that should know. Hello, Pastor Ida Peter Said. How are you doing today, and how is the Garden City in Port Harcourt? Thank you. Thank you for having me. Okay, we are taking a look at the under-23 national team. You know, they failed for the third time to qualify Nigeria now for the Olympic football event. So painful. After our failure to qualify, what is your assessment of the team and the performance of Salisu as a coach? Well, it's quite unfortunate. These are the things we've been complaining. We wanted to come and bring change. It's quite unfortunate, like I said, that one of the 20s and under 23 are uh, 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 like bring that team to the Super Eagles. Now we've lost an opportunity, golden opportunity, to see this on the 20 boys or the 20, 23 boys at a very high level at the Olympics. It would have been easier to move three or four of them into the Super Eagles because they've proved themselves. You see, that's what I've always advocated. We must go back to the to the grassroots. We can't struggle producing on the 20s, on the 17s, and on the 23s. They are there in our league. We need to make sure that we look inwards and raise these players that will represent Nigeria. Okay, back to Salisu as a person. So many Nigerians believe that it is time for him to bow out despite having a contract with uh, the Nigerian Football Federation uh, over his uh, known performance. What is your take on this? Well, I don't want to put blames on necessarily. We all know that the box stops at the, at the table of the coach. If we had won, they would have celebrated him. Now that we've lost, he has to bear the brunt of our loss. It's as simple as that. When a coach is brought to handle a team, he knows either he does well or he's fired. And, you know, but my question is, what is he still doing there? I had the, uh, uh, the secretary of the NFL saying it is the committee, the technical committee that will fire uh, the coach. Do we have a technical committee? Who is in charge of our technical committee? Guavo? Do they give him rights to appoint this? Why are you they're not doing when you fire them? It's as simple as that. We need to qualify for tournaments like this, and we must hold people responsible when we don't. Okay, lastly, before we let you go, you ran for the office of uh, the Nigerian Football Federation presidency, and uh, you lost uh, despite your pedigree. What are your future plans when it comes to football administration in Nigeria? Well, why not? It's our game. We, we can't allow... We can't allow, um, I want to be careful what I say, we can't allow our game to go under because uh, um, there's a cabal running our football and they decide who will be a president or not. I got a phone call today from one of the top men in Nigerian football and he said, listen, I'm sorry about the NFS elections, uh, but we have made up our mind who we are going to, uh, uh, who will be the president of, this, of the NFS. And it's unfortunate, it's not about what you can bring, it's whom the Kaaba chooses. And this is what we hear every time, it cannot be so. It has to be based on competence and ability to, to, to bring something different. You know, and I had a lot in my mind, I had so many things in my manifesto that I wanted to bring to change Nigerian football. Hopefully one day, one day, just one day, it will happen. All right, thank you, the man of God, for sharing your thoughts with us uh, today on the show. We really appreciate your time. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. All right, Matthew, you had uh, Pastor Peter Side there. Passionate as ever, vibrant as always. Uh, Peter Side is not saying it the way it is. I think uh, these are individuals we should begin to take seriously. They've said it before now. Nigerian football is not on the right footing. This person has said it even on the biggest of stage. In the last couple of years, he made himself available for service. It wasn't to be, but we hope that he won't relent. 